Just wanted to demonstrate the usage of two new sensors on the headrest. The first type is a bend sensor. It senses movement when something bends. So when I push down on the side of the headrest, it'll bend a little and should so show some movement of resistance or voltage. The second type of sensor is a positional sensor. As you move your finger along the sensor, the voltage or resistance will change and you'll be able to see that on the when you use when it is converted into the uh, computer. So right now we have three sensors. The two on the right are for the bend sensors, one per side, and the one on the left is for the positional sensor. I'm going to first demonstrate the positional sensor. As you can see, I'm moving along and it moves when I push down. For example, I'm pushing down and you can see the humps that are associated with me pushing up and down. One good feature of this is that if I hold down at a constant pressure or force, it'll stay still, but when I move, you can see a noticeable drop. It might come back up, but this is a good way to detect movement moving back and forth right now you can see the voltage is jumping a lot it's ju it looks like it's jumping a lot more because it's on auto scale for that chart so that's making it worse right now I have no pressure at all applied I'm gonna apply constant pressure goes to about 1.1 volts now I'm gonna move simulate moving to the right drops down now I'm going to go back to center, goes back to that 1.1 volts. Now I'm going to simulate moving left, and it just dropped a little. But you can notice whenever there's movement, there is a significant spike in the voltage. Now the other two sensors are the bend sensors. These are located on the side of the headrest. I'm not getting much of a reading out there out of those I need to re either work out a different circuit to get a better um, return there's a lot of noise it looks like it's jumping around way too much and so those are the two sensors I'm working with right now I have an apple I'm gonna put it on the headrest simulating a human head as best as I can to start with we have right around one volt I'm gonna move it to the right you see the spike when it moved right now it's still it's kinda of moving around a lot I'm gonna move it back to the center position where it's at a little over one volt now I'm gonna move it simulate moving to the left not much of a jump The next sensor I'm working with is an accelerometer. I have three axis, a three axis accelerometer. On the left is the Z axis, middle is the Y axis, right is the X axis, and then there's a three dimensional graph which I have not perfected yet. What I want to do is put a sometime, subtype of sphere in the middle and show which directions it's moving. Anyway, so I have the accelerometer on the micro on the uh, circuit board right here. When I move it in say the Y direction, you notice there's a spike in the Y. If I move it forward in the Y direction, it'll move up. Back center, it'll go back to normal position. Once again, up down or down up back forth back forth 
seems to be pretty sensitive if I just move it a little there's still a little movement and also I can zoom in on the chart to see even greater movement that was just up down up down that's the representation of what I just moved for the other axis the um, the x-axis I don't know if you can see there's an X and a Y axis and a Z. I'll move left on the X, right on the X, left on the X, right on the X. You'll see the representation on the chart so you can get an idea of what's happening. The last one is the Z axis which is basically up down motion I don't get as much um, movement with this as I do with the X and Y. It's kind of harder to detect because it's stationary on the desk from the get-go. So this seems like it could be a very useful sensor maybe placed on the patient's chin. And once I figure out the three-dimensional graph, should be very useful.